Hello. Today I have a nice, big, heavy Bath and Body Works box. This is a nice big um, candle haul I just got from the $12.95 candle sale. So I got all fall, fall candles in here. And then I also, I went in the store and picked up a couple of fall candles here too. So um, let's get into it. So as you can see here, I got loads of candles. Um, these candles were on sale for $12.95, including some of the Hall Halloween candles that were 40 some odd dollars, $12.95. So you know I got some of those in here. Let's start with this candle, number one. I don't want to break my nails open. And I got some new scents in here too. Some new fragrances for fall. You always want to hold the blade away from you. <laughs> Sometimes I see people in their videos, their blade is like this. Like, settle down, sis. Okay. Ooh, this is pretty packaging. So first up I have mahogany vanilla. Gorgeous packaging. Very homey. Something that would look nice in, in your home. Beautiful packaging. Mahogany vanilla. Ooh, that's lovely. That kind of smells a little bit... It smells like a home fragrance. It doesn't smell like gourmand or flowery. It smells like a, a nice cozy home. The scent is not too strong. I don't think it's going to be a high thrower. But the scent is really nice. It's not like sweet or floral or anything. It's just a nice homey scent. The notes are warm vanilla, fresh bergamot, and sweet sandalwood. The fresh bergamot and the sweet sandalwood is what gives you that cozy home fragrance. Mm, it smells really good. And you get that hint of vanilla, but it's not too vanilla-y. I, I get more um, the fresh bergamot and the sandalwood with a hint of vanilla. And that sandalwood is really nice in here with the bergamot. Very nice home scent. And the packaging is really classy and elegant too. Very nice. Look at all these candles I have. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, <laughs> okay, next. I'm gonna try not to spend too much time on these. Ooh, this looks like a new scent. I'm loving the new fall um, scents this year and the home care and the, ooh, what the heck? The home care and the body care. I always think it's funny when they do that. This is a new scent. Fall apple cider. Ooh, that is lovely. That smells like uh, a realistic, realistic smelling apple. Mmm, that smells so good. It smells like apple. You get the, the crisp apple smell. And I'm getting something else that's real nice too, real nice and fresh. And something that gives it a little bit of depth. But mostly you get that fresh apple smell. It's really nice. Let's see what the notes are. Crisp red apple, caramel drizzle, and spiced cider. So the caramel drizzle is what gives it um, a warmth, like a depthness to it. Is that caramel drizzle? I wouldn't say this is a caramel apple scent. Although, it's close. It's close. I, sm I slightly smell the caramel, but mostly I smell that fresh, crispy apple is what this smells like to me. So on the lines of, on the long lines of this 
in this, what I picked up in the store, the same candle that I really wanted that sold out online. But I found it in the store. And that's why sometimes you want to go to the store also, is I got Apple Crisp. Now what is this? Fall Apple Cider and Apple Crisp. These are in the same in the same uh, family. Beautiful packaging, slightly different. This one's got flowers on it. This one's got some pieces of wheat. So Fall Cider is nice. This Apple Crisp. Mm. Okay, so this has notes of oatmeal and spicy something because I smell a spice. I know there's oatmeal in here for sure because I read the scent notes and that's one of the scent notes is oatmeal and when I smelled this candle, I thought to myself, wow, you really can smell oatmeal. Mm, this is not as apple -y. The apple crisp is not as apple heavy as the apple cider. The apple cider is more heavy. This is more of like a warm gourmand, spicy, creamy, Mm, kind of apple this one is so good and like I said this sold out online so that's why I had to go in the store and get it the notes are caramelized apple cinnamon crumble and sugared oats that cinnamon crumble you smell a cinnamon crumble but it's not overly cinnamon it's just slightly cinnamon because I personally don't like it when pardon me when a spice is overly spicy smelling um, like the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the ginger, the allspice, the cloves, that I, it's, I'm not really a fan of all of that. I like it slight, like hints of it, but not when it's overpoweringly. And this one, you just get a slight hint of the cinnamon. I mostly smell caramel and apple and oatmeal is what I smell. Mm, but there's no caramel in this. It just says caramelized apple, which... Yeah, caramelized apple, cinnamon crumble, sugared oats. I smell the cinnamon crumble, the sugared oats. I smell the apple in here, but not as strong as this one, but both beautiful, beautiful scents. Even sometimes people want to go through their candles a little bit faster, want to get through their candles. If you have both of these, burn them both. Burn them both at the same time. You get a beautiful, beautiful scent. So these are really nice. And you know what I think is funny? Is that why, why is this one white barn? right and this one says Bath and Body Works it's interesting because they both say Bath and Body Works maybe the the lids just got messed up okay on to the next mm -hmm. ooh this is a new fragrance too new fragrance Sugared lemon and spice. I thought this sounded very interesting. And I like how this is nice and sleek. I mean, it's not fun or festive or anything. It's just a nice, sleek, neutral packaging. Ooh, oh, that is nice. Ooh, okay, so the first thing I get is like a sugared lemon. Yeah, because that's what it is. It's sugared lemon and spice so I get a sweet lemon Ooh, and you get that hint of spice it smells really really nice very warm and inviting a very beautiful fall fragrance sugared lemon and spice this is a beautiful fall lemon let's see what the spice notes are let's see what the notes because I get the sugared lemon for sure. The spice, I'm not too sure what the spice is. Let's check it out. Oh, lemon zest, fresh cardamom, and sugared ginger. So it's the cardamom and the ginger, and I like cardamom a lot. I don't want to say I love cardamom, but I really do like it a lot. Um, and I do like ginger too, so this is a very nice blend of lemon and spices very nice this is very very fresh and uh, comforting and cozy kind of lemon this is a beautiful beautiful scent sugared lemon zest 
cardamom spice, fresh cardamom, and sugar ginger. Beautiful, beautiful candle. I really, really like this one. This is a new fragrance. This was also sold out. A lot of these candles sold out because, I mean, $12.95, that's the lowest price point you're going to find a candle. And then this box is like this. These boxes are weird. Some of them open one way, some of them open another way. I'm not trying to bust my nails off. Is this a fancy one? Oh, it is. It's a fancy one. Come on now. It doesn't want to come out because of the lid. It's got a fancy, fancy lid. Come on now. There we go. This is none other than Wicked Vanilla Woods. Look at how cool is that. Of course, I'm going to take the plastic off. But these are so cool. I couldn't believe these were included in the sale because the past few sales, they have been excluded. Ooh, interesting. Okay. This is a spicy... Hmm, interesting. This almost to me sounds, smells like a little bit like a men's cologne, like a, you know, the vanilla noir. It kind of smells like that. Not 100% the same, but it kind of smells like that. Interesting. Okay, so, I mean, of course, the lid is gorgeous to die for. I'm definitely going to have to repurpose this. And I love that it's like a metallic gold kind of jar. This is beautiful, beautiful jar. And this is metal, is it? No, it's plastic, it's a hard plastic. I mean, this, this itself, okay, so the ring, the ring around is metal. What is that, plastic? Yeah, so this is plastic and this is plastic. But it's, I mean, it's got some weight to it. Is it plastic or is it glass? I think maybe it's glass. I lied. This is glass. This part right here. This is glass. So glass, metal, and the snake is plastic. Because this has got some weight to it. But this is a beautiful candle. Like, it looks beautiful. It's not my favorite scent in the world. I'm not going to lie. It's not my favorite scent in the world. Um, I think, like, this is a nicer scent than this, personally. Um, but it's nice. It's spicy. It's got, it's got a vanilla to it. It kind of smells like it has a cardamom or a sandalwood in it also. Let's check the notes. Let's see. Um, let's see. Magical vanilla, glowing amber wood, and enchanted pink pepper. Okay. Glowing amber wood. An enchanted pink pepper. I think it's the pink pepper that I'm smelling. Because I do smell like a spicy, but it does smell good. It smells nice. It's just it's got a spice to it. Vanilla with a spice. It kind of smells like a little bit like a, a men's cologne. But beautiful, beautiful packaging. Beautiful. Okay, I still got lots of candles to go through here. So let's go. Okay. Next up is, is this the other fancy one? It is. <laughs> okay, the other fancy one I got, oh look, it says tear here. I like that they package these fancy ones up real nice. Look at this. Vampire blood. And look at how gorgeous the lid is. Look at this. Isn't that cool? It looks like a crown, but... Ooh, I love the smell of this. This smells so good. It smells like fruit punch. I smell like red berries, like ripe red sweet berry. 
Mmm, there's some other stuff in there. I'll read the notes in a second. But what you get mostly is like a, a juicy red berry. So it's like a, a mix between a, a strawberry and a cherry, kind of. And a raspberry. Raspberry is what I get. Raspberry, cherry, strawberry. Oh, those red berries. Look how cool this is. And this is glass, clearly. But this is so cool. I love this. It's glass. And it looks like this skull, like a metal skull encased in like a ice, like stuck underneath a layer of ice or something. It's so cool. I love it. But you can definitely see that the skull in there is 3D and it looks like a crown. <laughs> so this is really cool. And this was also $12.95. So, you know, I couldn't pass this up. The out, the, um... The sleeve is also very pretty. I love red. Red is one of my favorite colors with the um, with the reflect. That's pretty cool. Holographic. That's the word I was looking for. The holographic reflect. Very, very pretty. Mmm, and this smells so good. Okay, let's see what the notes are. Let's see what the notes are saying. Red berries, knew it, night blooming jasmine, petrifying plum. The plum, I think, is what gives it the sweetness because it doesn't really smell floral. I know it says jasmine petals, night blooming jasmine. But what I get mostly is the red berries and the plum. Beautiful scent, beautiful scent. I really like vampire blood scent. Very nice. And I think those are the only Halloween candles I got. Candy apple, at candy apple cauldron I wanted, but it sold out almost immediately. But I was able to get those too, so I'm happy for that. Oh, I think this is a new scent too. I believe. I've never seen this scent before. And this is Cozy Sunday Night. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I think this is my favorite so far. Ooh, now this is what makes me, this is what reminds me of a warm, welcoming, comforting home in the holiday season. When Christmas, Thanksgiving, fall. This is what I smell, and I definitely smell some kind of balsam in here because I love that scent, like a fresh Christmas tree kind of scent that's in here. Along with maybe some kind of spicy, some kind of spicy something with a fresh balsam. It has like a, a pine needle Christmas tree kind of scent. Beautiful. I love these kinds of scents. Let's see what the notes are. Warm cinnamon, crystallized ginger, and vanilla bean. Interesting. There's no balsam in here. There's no pine, Christmas tree. It's just warm cinnamon, crystallized ginger, and vanilla bean. Mmm, the smell, it does smell really nice. But like I said, I get kind of like a Christmas tree kind of scent. Maybe it's just the vibe. Maybe it just reminds me of a Christmas candle kind of vibe. But this scent is beautiful. This is definitely what reminds me of a nice house during the a nice clean warm inviting home during the holiday season this candle is beautiful cozy sunday night Ooh, that is good that is so good okay let's see what else we got in here okay seven more candles i'm gonna hurry this up Ooh, I've been waiting for this one. This is the scent that everybody's been in love with this fall. And it's none, none other than Vanilla Romance. How, now, how come Vanilla Romance doesn't have... Oh, yeah, it does right there. I was like, how come it doesn't have the holographic, like the body care? And it does. Very pretty. I've been wanting to uh, collect the perfume candles, like the signature scent perfume candles. So that's why I got this. 
Mm. And it smells like vanilla romance. It's a smell. You get the vanilla. You get the fresh cardamom. You get like a woody. There's a woody sense to it. What is it again? Sandalwood? Captivating woods. Fresh cardamom. Vanilla absolute. Captivating woods. You do get that woody that woody sense, but you also get the creamy vanilla with the fresh cardamom. Beautiful candle. If you haven't smelled vanilla romance, this is what it is right here. Okay. Oh, one of these, huh? Oh, one of these. So I guess they got three different, <laughs> three different styles. Ooh, this is one of my OG favorites from Bath and Body Works. And it is Peach Bellini. I'm obsessed with Peach Bellini in the candle. I do have the body care, but the candle is just... <sighs> the candle is so good. You get that sparkling note. You get the sparkling sense. You get the peach. Like, you definitely, definitely get peach in this. You know the Bridgerton diamond of the season? People talk about peach. To me, that doesn't smell like peach. This, to me, is... Peach. Peach Bellini. Succulent white peach, sparkling Prosecco, and sweet orange. I get the peach, I get the Prosecco, and I do get a slight orange. There are people who say that they smell orange predominantly, but I smell peach pre predominantly, and you do get this sparkling, fizzy sense to it. It smells sweet, it smells fruity, it smells refreshing. Peach Bellini is one of my OG faves, so I had to get one of those. Ooh, I think this is a new one. This is a new one, I think, too. And then I got, no, it's not actually, I lied. Marshmallow Fireside. I personally, this is new to me. I've never had this scent. Ooh. This to me is giving Earl Grey tea. This smells like Earl Grey tea to me. Mm, it smells warm. It smells uh, rich. It smells spicy. What is this? Marshmallow Fireside? I do get that creamy sense to it from the marshmallow and the sweetness. It does have a slight sweetness. It's not sweet, sweet, but it has a slight sweetness. I get more, what is it, marshmallow fireside. I was going to say mahogany because it kind of does have that mahogany kind of sense to it. Ooh, that's really lovely. These are beautiful. I picked up some beautiful, beautiful fall scents this year. The notes are toasted marshmallow, marshmallow, toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. Mmm. That smells so good. It smells like Earl Grey tea with milk. <laughs> if you're Canadian, I know Americans don't do the black tea with milk thing. Not that I know of anyways. But um, if you're Canadian and you like Earl Grey tea with um, milk or cream, that's what this is giving. Um, probably you get that creaminess from the toasted marshmallow. But you get... You get a warm sense to it. It's almost like a little bit spicy, it kind of smells like. I know there's no spice in here, but maybe it's that amber, that night glowing amber. Is that what it's called? Crystallized amber. This is really nice. It's nice and smooth. You got that sweet, smooth scent from the marshmallow. You get that toasted, rich scent from the smoldering woods and the vanilla beautiful beautiful scent and I thought this was a new scent because it's in the same family I put all my stuff in. okay so this is in the same family from one of the ones I got from the store that I actually have been burning for the past couple of days and um, this is a new scent that was also sold out online and it's maple pumpkin okay so these these are in the same collection 
That's why I thought this one was a new scent. It's not a new scent. It's just new to me. But this is a new scent, the maple pumpkin. This smells delicious. My fiance thinks that this smells like uh, we're cooking breakfast. And it does because you really do get the maple strong. The maple comes off strong. It smells like uh, brown sugar sausages or maple sausages. It smells like breakfast, like pancakes and syrup. That's that's what this is giving. The uh, the pumpkin. I mean, the pumpkin does add a nice fall depth to it. You know what I mean? Um, but mostly, like I said, you get the sweet maple more than anything. So, also got these. This, this is a new scent to me as well. I know it's not a new scent, but this is a new scent to me. Now, um, I got Honey Wildflower. Look at how beautiful the packaging. I love this packaging. This to me is giving fall. I mean, you don't get any more fall than this. Beautiful packaging, Honey Wildflower. I like that it's raised. You can see that it's raised here. Very pretty. Um, somebody commented on one of my videos because I never, I don't really enjoy the honey scent in body care. Um, but somebody mentioned in my comments that Honey Wildflower is the original scent for the honey scent for Bath and Body Works. So that's why I wanted to pick this up and just try it. And it seems to be popular with everybody else. So. Ooh, okay. Mm, that smells really good. It kind of smells like, you know what I do like in honey is, um, there's like a honey body wash. Mm, that smells really good. This smells like something you would get from, um, like a soft soap body wash or, you know, those body washes that are like honey infused body wash. Mmm, this is so beautiful. That's what I get from this. It's not too strong. Ooh, but it is a really beautiful, fresh, slightly, f I smell like a slight flower. Well, I guess it is wildflower, right? Honey wildflower. So I do get a slight flowery. I do get the warmth from a honey. Like I do get slightly warm and sweet from a honey sense and I do get a slight floral, but it's not overpowering. I don't, I personally don't like floral, but this is nice. The notes are crisp pear, fresh wildflowers and sweet honey. Mmm, I think the pear, it makes it really nice. That's what gives it that slight sweet smell is the pear. So yeah, you get a slight sweet smell, you get a slight floral smell, and you do get a beautiful, warm, sweet honey smell. This is really lovely, really, really nice. This is something that would be a really nice gift because the smell is not strong and offensive. It's actually really light and lovely and fresh and um, a comforting home scents. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Okay, I just got a couple more here. Almost done. What else did I get in here? Ooh, I think, is this what I think it is? Is this pumpkin? Ooh, caramel pumpkin squirrel. Okay. So I got a caramel pumpkin swirl what does that say bath and body works bakery caramel pumpkin swirl love the gold love the orange if you can't tell i love golden orange got all this stuff on my sweater anyways packaging's cute it's got like a silhouette of a pumpkin pie in the back caramel pumpkin swirl Oh, okay, this is nice, but it is heavy on the cinnamon. I smell heavy cinnamon in here. I bet you that's in the notes. 
luscious caramel ground cinnamon rich brown sugar creamy vanilla okay this is nice but like I said I smell the cinnamon the cinnamon's a little strong a little strong in this one I don't really smell caramel I mean slightly maybe a little bit you know what this is giving to me? This kind of smells like French toast. If you put, um, when you make French toast, if you put cinnamon and nutmeg in your French toast mix, that's what this is giving. I do. I put cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla in my French toast mix, and this is what that's giving to me. I don't, do I smell pumpkin? I definitely, like I said, I definitely get the cinnamon. I get a, like a slight caramel and a slight pumpkin. So I get more like pumpkin spice with like a slight bit of caramel. But this is a really nice scent. This would even pair nicely with that, um, what is it, the apple crisp. Yeah, that's would pair nicely with this. These would be nice together. Like this would be, this would give pump um apple crisp because you get the sweet pumpkin i mean the sweet cinnamon in here and then in here you get the apple and the sugared oats so this would make a really nice like pumpkin pie um sorry apple pie apple crisp kind of scent if you burnt these together i do like them separately but Mmm, this is really nice. I do like this. It's just a little too heavy on the cinnamon for me. Okay, I got the last two, or three actually. Oh, see, this one I don't even need a... I like how that one just opens like that. Oh, this is another... This goes in with this family from this collection. I also got... Sunrise Woods. Very beautiful packaging. I love the packaging. It's just giving fall. And you know what? This is giving um, also like masculine or like unisex. Like this is what my fiance will probably like this in his bathroom because he likes green. His bathroom is all green. <sighs> and I really like Sunrise Woods, but I like it more in a... Um, I like it more in a home sense than in a, a body care personally. Mm, this is all this is another one of those candles that also gives like a warm, comforting home. Like a clean, nice, clean, comforting home smell during the um during the holiday season, during the fall season. So it's got a slight um floral sense to it. It smells slightly florally, it smells green. You can smell that greenery in there. It also has, mm, this is really pretty. I really like this scent. Like, And again, this is not a strong scent. This is just a nice, mellow, cozy home scent. And the notes are creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. Mmm. Creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. Mmm, that creamy sandalwood. It almost it kind of smells cologne, -y, like cologne, perfumey, but just slightly. It's not overpowering. It's a nice light smell. I really like it. Sunrise Woods. Very comforting home, home clean home comforting kind of smell. Very nice. Okay, last one in the box. And then I got one more in here that I want to talk about. So this one and then the one in the bag and that's it. We're done. <laughs> now this is the one I've been waiting for. Because this didn't come out in body care this year. Can you guess what I'm talking about? This didn't come out in body care last year, which is surprising because last year um, this sold out in the body care. I couldn't get uh, I couldn't get very much of this in the body care. 
because it's sold out. And this is a fan favorite. And it's pumpkin pecan waffles. Cute little waffle up here. I actually adore this packaging. This packaging is so cute. It looks like it's maybe could be a luminary possibly. Like when you light it, is it gonna is it gonna light up through these through this pattern here? Really pretty candle. I really, really like the packaging. So pretty. I love this waffle is my favorite part. That's like it looks like a sunflower, but it's a waffle in the middle. Very, very pretty. Let's give her a sniff. Ah, yes. Oh, I'm so missing this in body care. Oh, it smells so good. I get the waffles. I get like syrupy, sweet. Mmm. It smells so good. Let's see what the notes are. I'll read the notes. Maple syrup. That's where I get the syrupy sweet. Maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. I get the waffles. I get the syrup. I get a slight pumpkin spice. It's not overpowering like this one. These two would actually probably burn really nice together. Um, oh, but that is so lovely. Like I said, I get... I get the waffles, I get the syrup, the maple syrup. I get a slight pumpkin scent. It just smells sweet, sweamy. <laughs> it just smells sweet and creamy. <laughs> sweet and creamy and bakery gourmand. If those scents are for you, this is for you, my girl. Gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Okay, and the last scent. And I got another one of these coupons from for the platinum, whatever. Okay, and the last scent I got, they're having a, a Latin American Latin American heritage. So now they've done uh, Black History Month. They've done Asian heritage um, collection, and then what else did they do? The Black History Month, the Asian Heritage. Well, anyways, now they're doing Latin American Heritage. And I had to get this. And this is the one I got from the store. And this one is the Mango Passion Fruit. And let me tell you, this smells amazing. <sighs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is fruity, and this has a decent scent to it. Like, some of these are lightly scented. This is going to have a nice throat. You get the sweet, tangy, juicy. It's just lovely. You get, and you do smell mango and passion fruit. Sometimes I find in candles, passion fruit can get a little lost, but this one, you definitely smell that passion fruit. You smell the juicy mango. It smells tropical. It smells delicious. And this isn't your basic tropical scent. Like this is juicy and tangy and you get the mango and the passion fruit. This is beautiful, beautiful candle. Okay. I'm going to read the scent notes. Scent notes are juicy mango, ripe passion fruit, and fresh pineapple. This is just straight up sweet, juicy burst of tropical fruit greatness. Okay, now for uh, my favorite candles, <laughs> I got a lot here. As you can see, I got lots of candles here. Um, so for my favorite candles... Uh, my favorite candles from this haul are going to have to be definitely um, the Mango Passion Fruit. <laughs> Got to move all these candles. Mango Passion Fruit. The Apple Crisp. Like if I had to recommend candles, like let's say my top three. Okay. Mango Passion Fruit. Apple crisp. Ooh, and this one right here. This one. Cozy Sunday night. These are my favorite candles from this haul. And um, these are lovely, lovely candles. So these are my favorite candles from this haul. Um, what I say is fall. 
these are definitely, definitely fall. And I mean, of course, pumpkin pecan waffles. Like if you're looking for fall candles, you're going to want to get pumpkin pecan waffles, sun cozy Sunday night if you can, the apple crisp, and among lots of others. Ooh, this was a this is a really beautiful uh fall candle as well. The sugared lemon and spice. Gorgeous, gorgeous candles. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my videos and for all your love and support. Take care.